So the Snapdragon 855 Plus has just been announced and we are already seeing a whole host of brands that are ready to make phones using this brand new chip. Well, actually the 855 Plus isn't brand new. They basically take a Snapdragon 855 and they're getting some performance improvements out of it. They're overclocking the CPU and they're telling us that they're gonna get slightly better graphics performance out of the 855 Plus, apparently a 15% boost. So this chip is gonna be very good for gaming centric phones. So to that end, there have been a list of mostly Chinese manufacturers who make gaming centric phones that are telling us that they are planning on putting this chip in devices this year. You might get slightly better gaming performance, but there are some drawbacks because it uses more power, it's gonna have worse battery life, so you might have to use a bigger battery and have a thicker phone. And also the 855 Plus isn't ready to use with 5G networks, so you'll have to put an extra modem in there if you do want a 5G phone, which will increase cost and further reduce battery life. So it looks like the 855 Plus is gonna be quite a niche product. Having said that, we've already got Realme saying that they are gonna put it in a phone. That's quite interesting because Realme are really a budget brand, so I'm really interested to see what they're gonna do with a flagship processor in a phone. They might be using it in the 64 megapixel camera phone, which is coming soon from them. They're gonna need a flagship processor to deal with a camera sensor like that. So they may just go all out and build a Redmi K20 Pro type phone, giving us pretty much everything of the latest specs, but hopefully with a decent price. After that, Vivo came out and said that they are also testing a device with the Snapdragon 855 Plus that will probably be in a Nex or any X type phone. That is the phone where they test out very high end specs. Also Vivo have just registered a 5G phone also. So it could be using that Snapdragon 855 Plus and also have 5G. Although the Vivo NEX or Nex isn't a gaming centric phone, but if you look at that brand, they basically put the latest and greatest stuff all in one package. And of course, gaming centric phones. So we've got Blackmagic, which is Xiaomi's gaming phone brand, and also IQ, which is Vivo's gaming centric brand. They both have said that they might use the Snapdragon 855 Plus in the second half of the year. The Vivo IQ Neo just came out. That was a more budget friendly version of the gaming centric IQ brand that uses last year's flagship processor, the 845. We've already got the IQ, which uses the 855, and having just two phones in a lineup isn't really enough in 2019 for sure. So they may come out with an IQ Plus or just a brand new 855 Plus version of that gaming phone. And actually Nubia have announced in China that they will be releasing a phone with a Snapdragon 855 Plus. Nubia, Red Magic 3, whether it will be called Red Magic 4 or Red Magic 3 upgraded version, will be releasing a Snapdragon 855 Plus version of that gaming phone too. Totally not surprising those gaming centric phones use the highest powered processor. They've already released phones in the first half of the year, so it comes as no surprise that they'll want to release new versions with that process in the second half of the year. Also, that processor from Snapdragon is basically set up for gaming centric phones, phones that don't mind if they're a little bit thicker and use a bigger battery and are a bit heavier. So if you are looking for a gaming phone, you might wanna wait a couple of months and get a new version with that new chip. So how about some phones that aren't gaming centric that might use the new Snapdragon 855 Plus? Well, you've got the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series that is coming in the second half of the year. Although those phones have probably been manufactured already, so it seems a little bit unlikely that they'll use them. And also the Note 10 isn't a gaming centric phone and because it uses the S Pen, the batteries can't be very big in those. And Samsung are probably gonna go for design over thickness. So it may or may not use the 855 Plus. We'll just have to wait and see for the launch in about a month's time. Then you have the Pixel, which is coming out in the second half of the year. Will that stick with the 855 or use the 855 Plus? And the OnePlus 7T, the upgraded version of OnePlus's new flagship phone. The OnePlus 7T would have to upgrade the OnePlus 7 Pro somehow 
and if they're not going to do it with the screen or the camera then it might be likely that they'll use the new Snapdragon 855 Plus. Alright so an unusual step from Snapdragon to release an overclocked or an improved version of their flagship chip usually they just release one a year but it gives us more options and it gives us something to look forward to in the second half of 2019. Send me a comment if you are looking at a gaming phone if you want to wait for the new 855 Plus, if you think it's not really gonna make any difference anyway, it's only a slight improvement, or you'll wait until the new phones come out and then buy one of the older phones on discount.